Today's collection selection is the uh, Benchmade AFO number two. Now AFO stands for Armed Forces Only. That's right, Armed Forces Only and Suburban Dads Who Can Afford It. Yeah, <clears throat> the AFO. I really like this knife. I've recently gone through a little uh, a little spate of uh, automatic knife, knife appreciating and I've gotten a few. This one uh, I, I bought brand new because I received an email from Kershaw guy saying that he had a few and I don't know, there was some urgency in the email that if I didn't buy this immediately, I would never ever be able to see one again or lay my hands on one again. And um, I'm not saying that was craftiness on their part, I'm saying it was susceptibility on my part and I, uh, I bought it knowing that uh, I would, wouldn't resell it because I don't know, kind of sketchy to resell a, an automatic knife, at least for me. Um, but this knife is uh, really nice and stout for an automatic knife, or for any knife, but I mean, it's nice and chunky and thick. It's got these really nice um, aluminum scales that have almost that chalky finish that I like so much. Some people I, I know don't like it. Um, it's got a four-way clip. And it comes with it, it, it comes with the clip tipped down. And I just think it's hilarious how audaciously low they mount the clip. I mean, it's, it's like, uh, it's like as if they're saying, yeah, you, you want, you want to carry tip down? You're going to have to carry it down here. It's just, uh, but, uh, doesn't matter anyway, because that's just the wrong way to carry it. There's my, uh, glass breaker, or at least I'm assuming that can break glass. Uh, hopefully it's hardened steel or something. I'm not sure what it is, um, but uh, it doesn't come to a point. It comes to a uh, a ridge. Uh, but I still think that might be uh, uh, enough to break glass. Now it's great in reverse grip because that ridge uh, acts as a perfect sort of place for your thumb to rest and kind of pull, and um, and then it doesn't bother you at all in. Uh, standard grip. Hammer grip feels amazing. Um, what do you call this? Saber grip <clears throat> feels really good too. This thing has a uh, nice springy action. Uh, I gotta say it ain't no Protec, uh, but it has a nice, it kind of slaps out really hard. Protec uh, to me snap out re really hard. This sort of slaps out really hard, but regardless, it's uh it's it's a fun knife to play with and it's definitely one handable. It's not it's not too difficult to close this one hand. And now it has this um lock here. I'm not a big fan of locks on knives, but it's pretty cool. I mean, there's a little bit of uh there's a little bit of blade play in this uh action just because it's a uh, an automatic you're going to get some play. Sorry for the dirty car by the way. Not that you care. Um these uh, scooped out sort of fullers in the in the handle make for excellent grip and uh, this is one of those knives I like to just sort of you know play around with because it's very uh, it's got the um, that that chalky texture adds to the grip and then it's got all these little fluted areas and it's just a fun knife to play with I gotta say uh, but the lock uh, as I was saying um, has a little uh, has four different steps So there it is, the AFO. Oop, almost stabbed myself in the leg. That would have been smooth. AFO by Benchmade, AFO 2, I believe it is. Armed forces only. Starting to get a little bit of honest wear on it. That's cool, I like honest wear on aluminum handles. And um, all right, well, that's it for today. Take care.